Yeah, we cannot now. We have the attitude problem. Right? So if you got problem already, how to learn that? Right? So cannot be pilot because got attitude problem. Really, really. But sometimes uh, we are not only just like that. We are forward thinking Malays. Like the recent National Day rally, right? Got the MP mentioned some speech. Ah, uh, she's what's her name? Ah, uh? I think her name is like. Uh, Halima Vitagen is it? <laughs> hey no, sorry, 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 it's not Halima Vitagen. No. It's Halima Yakol. <laughs> Halima Yakol. Uh, no, I remember why not. Because I know she sound like the drink you take when you're full of crap and you need to let it out. <laughs> she sound exactly like that. Uh. Your who me or right? your Halima friends or what? <laughs> so in parliament we got two people full of crap. Uh. One is Halima, one is Ibrahim. Uh. Yeah, both also Malay. So that's why maybe you Chinese people think we Malay are full of crap, huh? It's like that. It's like that. Not, not, not the true case. But anyway, back to what she said. Uh, she, she, she said she was very proud of the Malay community. She said to everyone, uh, she said my Malay community is very forward thinking. You know, we have all these new achievements and successes and everything. So like we feel proud. You know, she tell all the Indian peoples and the Chinese peoples all that. You know. And then she's stupid about she said all that in Malay. <laughs> So how they will know what we achieve, right? <laughs> Maybe that's why you all think we are full of crap, right? In Malay. But nowadays, Malays are forward thinking, not everyone is full of crap. Some of us become civil servant. Uh, soundtrack, please, music man. Good evening for those who don't know me. <laughs> My name is Corporal Hassan now. Do you know me? Yeah. Miss Chinese woman. <laughs> don't be shy, do you know me? Very soon you will know me because you know what? Even though I'm just a corporal, I'm an officer with many years of experience and how to know this is because last time. <laughs> Policemen <laughs> wear shorts. <laughs> See, these Malay people are very good. You all come Malay. Now you all know why you should come Malay. Okay. Wow, really got a lot of Malay people. Like, this one what? Drug screening or <laughs> Hey boy, you look familiar. You've been in and out, right? Do you recognize me? Do I look familiar to you? No, wait! More importantly, does this look familiar to you? <laughs> Familiar, huh? Take care of yourself. You've been good after that. Better, better. Okay, very good, very good. So, it's true what Shah said just now. Nowadays, Malays are forward thinking. We're all in the civil service industry. Okay, some of us become police officers, some become firefighters, some become nurses, some become teachers. P PE teachers, huh? PE teachers. Because, <laughs> uh, not high level of thinking there. <laughs> Yeah. So it's true, but you know, when I, right now I'm a police officer, but when I was younger, my teacher used to tell me right, that uh, I was more prone to be a different kind of civil servant. I was supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> you, you don't believe? Because she based that on my written work now. Every time she look at my written work, she tell me, Hassan, you have a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> so for you all, it might be untidy, but it's a type of fun. It's called Times New Melayu. <laughs> okay? So, uh, apart from civil servants, you all might wonder why we all like to join the police force. Okay, just to give you an example. This morning itself, I was on my way to, to, to this place. Hey, this morning, I was on my way to this place. I, I live in the West, so that's why I have to get out of house and leave. So, I saw this Chinese transcom officer, you know those police officers in the MRT? Yeah? Bloody hell, he stand like that. And then he would be like, and hey, later I want to ask my officer because today I got promoted, huh? I want to know if my pay will come this 12 or next month 12, huh? <laughs> Slugger, not? Slugger, right? Chinese people cannot be good officers. The Malay officer next to him, though, was very good. He's telling like that. Oh. <laughs> That's how you project presence, right? Now, to you, you may think he looks fierce and strict, correct, not? But in his head, He's actually not thinking anything. <laughs> you must master a certain level of stoning to be a good Malay officer. Okay? In, in our lingo, we call it uh, screensaver mode. 
But the face must maintain fierce. The face must maintain fierce. Kau mandi got a lot of problem though, they thinking handphone bill last month haven't pay all that. So that's why you must be prepared for that, you must be prepared for that. Uh, yeah, we make good good officers, we make good officers. As you all may know, we make good officers. I'm actually thinking of my name joke. <laughs> uh, give me a moment, screen save a moment. So, uh, still thinking about it. <laughs> now, do you all know that we need this toning? Because why not? Sometimes our shift for transcom officers is from Pasiris to Jukun. Now, you all know how far that is? Anyone here live in the West? Anyone here live in the West? You, you're going to trace when? Okay, Miss Chinese girl. Uh, how, where do you live in the West? Juro. Juro East. What time did you leave last night to get here today? <laughs> You no wonder you look so tired. You must be jet lagged right now. <laughs> Do you bring a passport to come here? Hey, in fact, I see a lot of foreigners here. Huh? A few, few, a few foreigners I see. In this Angmo. You local. You local. So one of your ancestors were foreigners, obviously. Yeah. Okay, now you look at all of them right now. You tell them which one of their parents did, that your parents steal their job. <laughs> don't, don't like. Don't no, Don't look at the Malay. The Malays are unemployed. <laughs> Hey, in fact, Amo, you come here, I know, you come here, I know. Uh, uh, serious, come here, come here. Okay, Amo, you local, okay. Your ancestors were from where? Um, China. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, you guys, surprise, surprise. I will get back to that soon, but anyways, uh, what, what, you look white a bit, eh? So what's your white side? The lower half. <laughs> Nowadays, everybody want to be a comedian. Eh? I mean, let me assure you, it's a, it's a hard life. They, they don't pay a lot. Yeah, so, uh, what the, the lower half? What is what is the lower half? Belgian. Oh, Belgium. Very nice, huh? So, might, the flavor is chocolate. <laughs> I, I, I know. I know me some Belgium chocolate. Once I had a bell tune. Maybe again tonight. Okay, so obviously you're local here. Your parents were foreigners. Okay, now 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 that you're here, I'm gonna teach you a little bit. It's called role playing. You you are white, you should know, right? Role playing. You should know, you should know. Okay. So basically I want to teach you guys a variable variable. The MP was right, Malay and Indian cannot speak English. Okay, I'm going to teach you a very valuable skill that we learn as officers, okay? It's life-saving. It's called writing reports. Okay? So you're going to pretend you lost your bag. And I'm going to learn, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Now, we first start with writing the report. Now, uh, Mr. What's your name? Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. Uh, and... Uh, Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas, you lost your bag. What time did you lose your bag? Uh, 8 o'clock. Eight o'clock is how many hours? Uh? Eight o'clock morning or night? Be clear to me, I'm Malay, you know? Eight o'clock at night. Eight o'clock at night. And what's the brand of your bag that you lost? Uh, coach. Coach. <laughs> now, this is the point of time. No bad words, sir. Uh. Now, this is the point of time when if you don't know how to spell, you don't make it clear to the complainant. You ask your partner. Bro. Coach, can you not spell? <laughs> you also don't know, useless. Ask Chinese, Chinese now. You know how to spell coach? Okay, what how to spell coach? C O A C H. C O A C H. I'm not asking you for your last surname. Huh? Hey, hey. C O A C H. Okay, bro, you lost your coach back. Now, inside, is there a wallet? I think so. Okay, uh, what brand is this wallet? Um, Burberry. What's well, sure, your law designer? You buy imitation goods or what? Come on. <laughs> I just draw the berry for you, lah. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, inside got important stuff, lah. Got money inside? Yes. How much? Um, 100 ringgit. Chips at this white boy. 
I thought Angmo got a lot of money, don't have no. That's why they come and steal your job. So $100 and do you have valuables like IC inside? Yes. Okay, you lost your eye. Now this is the important point again. If you f if you don't know how to spell, you ask your you know how to spell IC. Yeah? I know, I know. The thing is, I know it starts with an A, but I wonder if it's AY or AI. How to spell? You Malay, you useless. Let's ask this boy. How to spell IC? Yeah? IC. You see, you see me. Okay. So IC, yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we learn how to write a written report. A round of applause for you. What, what's your name again? Nicholas. Nicholas, please sit down. Now, recently we have this report uh, someone wrote to the Straits Times. Okay, they said, do Malay husbands know more than a Chinese husband? <laughs> you know, they were talking about the fertility rate of, of Malay men in Singapore. Uh. Now, to answer the question is no, we don't. We usually don't know anything, okay? Okay, we don't know anything. But the thing is, you all need to know why we are more fertile than the rest. This is our strategy, okay? How many Chinese are there exposed to Malays? This is our strategy to take back whatever we're claiming back now. No. Okay, this country used to belong to us, but now you guys are the majority, we are the minority. How is that possible? I don't know. Can, you can, now you can shout. <laughs> See, like, this girl thinks she's in bed, you know. Ah! Like, girl, I know it's night time, just calm the ass down. Okay? So that's why if you think about it, why Malay men are so productive, you know. If we cannot take over, look at us, we have strategy. Okay, we marry for a wife. Each one produce, bam, 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 bam. We need to take over you guys. But then you guys are smart. You guys bring in the China people to take over us. You think we don't know. You don't know. So what we do, we go to Batam. Marry more Malay women then. More Malay women. And if you think about it, why is it so coincidental? The red light district is at Geylang. Geylang is a Malay place, no? Because you know why? The Malay working girls over there. At home and at night. Because cab fare is expensive. So can walk home. Uh. It's near for them. It's near for them. Okay, but this one I don't talk anything, I'll leave it to my next character. Uh, sorry, miss, can you play the soundtrack, Soundman? <laughs> Hello, bye! <laughs> See, I never shake my legs. Eh? <laughs> Funny, a Chinese girl. <laughs> Hello, your people never shake armpit hair, never say anything, okay? <laughs> and at least we Malay girls are not rude, okay? We give our elderly the priority seat. Okay? <laughs> Girl, your attitude don't be like pokey, okay? Why, what, what? What? You, you never eat pokey before? <laughs> hey, must know, pokey got two flavor. Pink flavor and brown flavor. <laughs> My pokey is brown flavor. Okay? Who won? Catch! <laughs> That's why I never hire Malays for your show. Huh? <laughs> After this, I have to double up as a servant. Okay, but I just... <laughs> Don't worry, organizer later, I clean myself. <laughs> but just, just so you all know, okay? We Malays are not just scoundrels, minas out there, okay? Just to correct the police officer out there, gone are the mentality, okay, where I think if uh, Amor rape me, is never mind because the baby come out, is cute. Okay? <laughs> Nowadays, we mina have a forward future thinking things, okay? If you all don't know, I am actually a student, a diploma student in mass communication. Slow clap to that. We just don't tell y'all all this because you know why we like to we like to keep it private, and by that means I do it privately like in, in Kaplan, <laughs> SMA, yes. No, you go there is very is very good because you don't feel like you're a minority. My first day of class I go I see look around what so many Indian and Malay no. I ask them it's not what class the middle class ah. <laughs> you don't you won't feel ostrich size over there you know you won't. But they mix the smart and stupid people together. No qualifications needed as long as you can pay. Mm, it's true. At, the first, at first, when I got the, the schedule, right, I saw all the classes, huh, then they put my name B, B, C, 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 D. At first, I thought, wow, they can predict my grades already. Huh? <laughs> no, it turns out it was my classes. Huh? But I must tell you all huh, something. Huh? I feel like, I feel 
That's my American accent because I am the ethno. I feel. <laughs> like Mescom is not my calling already. It's not my calling. When I when when I first thought of Mescom, I thought, oh, this is like no TV TV. They can kaka kaka Surya. But no, okay, it's not just TV TV. It's both written and reading. Okay, but lucky for me, I like books. My favorite genre of book is coloring books. <laughs> so interactive, that kind of books, very interactive. But you can't blame me also, no? Because when I first got the pamphlet, right? I looked through it, all the modules. Like first one is so easy, copywriting. Hello, if there's anything a sex for girl is good at is copying. Okay? okay, I was so good at copywriting, but no, it was not it. So one day I hand up my assignment, they accused me of plagiarism. You know? Do you know how pissed I was not that they accused me of plagiarism? Okay, I walked up to my dean, unhappy. Say, Eh, anak haram. <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend since I was 14, okay? I'm 21 years old now, okay? That's four years for you. Okay? I don't know who this Jerism is, but I only play with my boyfriend. <laughs> Sound slow, son, this Chinese girl. <laughs> play Jerism. Sound slow, son. I'm Malay or you Malay? Good lah, good to laugh ah. Y'all, y'all need to laugh like us Malay. We laugh, laugh, laugh. We live longer, you know. You call buang sui, buang sui. Y'all Chinese people like to stress a lot. Y'all stress about work and everything. I just want to tell y'all, we Malays may steal a lot of things from you, but we won't be able to steal your jobs. Okay, nowadays we don't make the basic requirement anyways. What? Like, Hello, does it look like I can speak Mandarin to you? You feel me, all the Malay bros? You feel me? Very hard to get jobs, right? Yeah. The day Amina is able to speak Mandarin. Is when we become baristas at the Gongcha store, <laughs> and Gongcha will no longer no, no longer be called Gongcha, it will be called Gongcha. <laughs> you get my drift, huh? No, because you know what? If after this you want, I so can. I don't mind. <laughs> I need ten dollars. I need to top up my easy link. Can I go? <laughs> so you call me, yeah? Call me later. So shy. <laughs> but anyways, if I was a Chinese, I would be very proud of my heritage. I would be very proud because you guys invent and discovered so many things, correct or not? You guys discovered silk, invented paper, paper pao. Right, you're, you're so good. In fact, do you all know uh, the, the story right, of the children's book originated from China? I'm not talking about Mulan, okay? I'm talking about Rapunzel. Do you all know Rapunzel originated from China? Right, that's my Andrea Sasson again. Yeah. So, if you all don't know, I'll tell you the original story, okay? <coughs> So the prince was up to the, to the fortress and then uh, he said to her, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair for I will save you from all your despair. And then Rapunzel ran out to the balcony. <laughs> and all she had to do was raise her arm. <laughs> No offense, huh? Thank you guys!